All right, this here is Intel Burn Test. Someone was wanting to know about this. This has been running for 30 minutes, and um, temperatures are very good for how high it's going. Intel Burn Test is at maximum settings, and I'm running at 4.4 gigahertz. I had an issue before where it would um, not go over 800 megahertz, but that is now behind us. I have swapped out the boards, and that seems to have fixed the issue. Um, giving us 180, well, slowly gi giving us uh, more and more wattage, which will give us a little bit more power. But as you can see, it's running at about 94, 95 ish right about now. And it's still got, um, like, well, T, T junction max is 100 Celsius and it's at 95. But for a single radiator and push pull, a thin radiator at, at that, that's very good. Running at using 15.6 gigabytes. I have a 16 gigabytes um, Corsair Dominator, no, Corsair Vengeance RAM. And that's running at 2666 megahertz. Power supply is uh, EVGA NEX 750B. And all the fan hubs are being used. GPU. Um, this is an ASUS DirectSeer 2. AMD R9 290. And it seems to have. It seems we're at good standings right now. So I will stop the test. And it immediately goes down to 2 gigabytes because it's idling now. And it's going down to 40 degrees Celsius on the, on the hottest core. So I hope that answers your question. The. Core i7-4790K, even with a limited cooler, um, it runs extremely well and extremely fast, even at base speeds. Um, thanks, Gamboy out, see you next time.